Hello, in this brief uh, tutorial, I just want to go over percents. Uh, this is um, perhaps basic math that most of us remember from high school, but I just want to make sure. So uh, calculating percents, again, we use the percent formula. That's the part divided by the whole, and then um, convert that to a uh, percent by just multiplying by 100, which moves the decimal place over 2 in your calculator. So brass is a self-lubricating material. It's made of zinc and copper, so it's a homogeneous alloy. And here we want to know what is the percent zinc, okay? So we have the part, which is zinc, and we have another part, which is copper, and we want to know what is the percent zinc. And so what we do is we first calculate the whole by adding these two numbers up. So the total mass is 16.24 grams. Now what we want to do is calculate the part of the zinc. So it's 2.03 grams divided by the whole, which is 16.24 grams, and that gives us 0 0.125 when you do that on your calculator. And then we want to express that decimal as a percent. You can just multiply by 100 or move the decimal place over two places and you get 12.5. And notice how the units here are percent. We could actually write percent ZN. In this very brief part of the tutorial, I want to just tell you how we calculate parts of substances using the percent equation or the percent formula. So again, the percent is the part divided by the whole. And here's an old buffalo nickel, and because of erosion, uh, maybe it weighs 4.892 grams, okay? And now the uh, known composition of this material is 75% copper and 25% nickel. And so the question here is, how much copper is in this? So first you want to create a conversion factor using the percents. This may be something new to you, but it's a useful tool to use in chemistry class. So <clears throat> 75 grams of pure copper is equal to 100 grams of uh, coin material, okay? Now remember that whenever you have an equivalency, that can be righted as a fraction one way or the other, okay? And we're going to use this conversion factor to now convert the starting mass of the coin. Okay, so we know we have 4.892 grams of a coin, and we want to multiply that by the conversion factor here shown on the left, okay? And so we want to multiply by 75, then divide by 100, and that gives us 3.669 grams of copper. And so from here, you could round and go on, okay? So that's how you calculate the part of a metal in an alloy.